Welcome back, everyone, to the April edition of Making a Difference. Are, are, are we having fun? Yes. Well, yeah. Yeah. Are we having fun? Yes. Yeah. Yes, this is a blast. I mean, the weather is beautiful out, isn't it? Well, yeah, kind of. It's a little windy, but yeah, I like Sean, it. Sean, I'll get back to you later. Mm -hmm. Jackie, the weather's fine, isn't it? Yes, a little windy, but I think I'll it's I'll get good. back to you later, too, kid. Carol? It's perfect. Thank you so much. The weather is perfect. It's April. Spring is here. We're in the most wonderful community in the entire world, except for Fulton, yeah. Columbia, Missouri. <laughs> Welcome to the April edition of Making a Difference. Our guests tonight are Executive Director of Junior Achievement, Carol Altbritton. Correct? Did mm -hmm. I do? You did. Okay. I so. And <laughs> next to Carol, sitting right here, is the Mayor of BizTown, Sean Keene. Welcome, you two. And, of course, we've got the anchor of, what is it, KPLR 11. Yeah. The anchor yeah. of KPLR 11 out of where? St. Louis? Yes. Wow. That's impressive. But, actually, we're here to talk about an, uh, uh, an affiliation that you are both a member of, Junior Achievement. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? It is really awesome. It's almost as neat as being on Making a Difference, isn't it? <laughs> I know, yeah. I know. Now, you know, we, we reach out to millions of, okay, uh, uh, thousands of people, <laughs> this program. But see, that's really neat. A lot of people are going to see you, and you're going to become a hero to somebody. But first, let's talk to Carol. Carol, Junior Achievement. Mm -hmm. How long have you been associated with it? Four years. What a neat job. You're it's executive director. Mm -hmm. So you, you just kind of go out and what, what, what do you do for junior achievement? I recruit schools and volunteers and I also do fundraising. So what junior achievement does is it is a finance, financial literacy course that we bring into the uh, elementary schools and high schools and we do it at every grade level and I recruit uh, volunteers from the community, business leaders and those types, any professionals so they can come in and teach the course to the students and also um, talk about some of their life experiences and bring that into the classroom too. So Jackie, Sean, have you learned anything through Junior Achievement? Oh my yes. Really? Yes. T tell me, Sean, what, what have you learned? Well, lots of things. Just from the beginning, it was it kind of started out with me as kind of what is a community, and we kind of talked about the okay, definition of community. Okay, what is a community, a community to you? It's kind of like the same same people, you know, gathered in a place, you know, that kind of sh share kind of the not usually, but like share the same beliefs, you know, kind of interact with each other, you know, kind of there for each other. Very good. I, I I'm impressed. <laughs> Jackie, what's junior achievement to you? Well, it taught me things like how the economic system works. Okay. And like how money flows through our system and how we all help, like our town. <laughs> this is impossible. You two know more than some governments. <laughs> what, what, what is this? You, and you learned all this through junior achievement? Yes. Yeah. Did Carol teach all this to you? Uh, other people did. No, no, yeah. wait a second. Carol just knew how to bring people to you that, that know yes. a lot. <laughs> Local yeah. business leaders, mm -hmm. outstanding. So, so it's all about economics, correct? Yes, yeah. and uh, entrepreneurship and financial literacy. <coughs> so on the financial side, what, Jackie, what have you learned? Well, I've learned how to write a bill. And, I mean, a check. And I've learned how... Mm -hmm. Money flows and everything, just how so, it works. So uh, now that you have all this this knowledge, what do you plan to do with it? I don't know. Well, I'm hoping to get a job with all this knowledge and when I get older, so it will help me in my future. Absolutely. Sean, what about you? You have all this, this I mean, your, your head has to be hurting with all this <laughs> brain power now. What are you going to do with it? Probably use it kind of to apply with my jobs later in life. What do you want to do? Well, lots of things. I want to be an actor. I want to be a comedian. I want to be president. I want to be a world-class scientist. And I want to be a sports star. Which one first? Do president first. Yeah. Yeah, why not? No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, yeah. Okay, good start. So. If you're going to rank all those, what's your, what's your first priority when you 
when you become a little older? Acting? Probably. Okay. Acting or like the world famous scientist. Ooh, that, now that's, uh, do you plan to go to college anywhere in there? Yes. Good, good, good Harvard. start. Harvard. Harvard Law. We have an attorney in the audience mm -hmm. now. Are you going to go to Harvard Law? Probably, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Outstanding. Carol, well, what, have you, what have you done to these, these, these young I, I, people? Like I, said, I just bring people together and hope this is that, phenomenal. That, that, uh, this is, I'm very impressed with what they've learned. It makes me feel like I, what I'm doing is actually working, which is always nice. <laughs> this is this is this is amazing, you two. How many more are there out there like you? Too many thousands. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, thousands. thousands of people. Yeah. Our future depends on you two. You know that, don't you? Everything about this this great nation rests right here in these two seats. You know that, right? Uh, uh -huh. no pressure. Yeah. No pressure. <laughs> you you realize you are the future of this country. Our future leaders. You know that big responsibility. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for it? Probably, yeah. Wait, wait a minute. Probably. Come on. <coughs> Let's be, be positive. Well, it kind of helped to go through high school first. Just <laughs> Forget <laughs> high school, Just to kind of get the rest of the math in there. <laughs> yeah. That'll be the biggest thing. All degrees require math. Yes, they do. That's okay. Mr. That's Allen okay. You can, that. you can do it. You can do it. Carol. Yes. How, how did you get involved with uh, Junior Achievement? Well, it was an organization that I had heard of through some before, through some friends that I graduated college with that volunteered with it. And I thought, oh, that sounds interesting. And then um, I was uh, looking for employment, and I, it popped up, and I thought, oh, I remember Junior Achievement. I remember hearing them talk about that. And so I went ahead and applied, and I got the position, and it is definitely a wonderful organization to work for. I totally feel like I'm really helping and making a difference and it's fun. Tay, I, from what I see, I would have to uh, say yes. You're doing something right. Yes, I'm glad to. Hey Jackie, now, now from kindergarten on, you learn about this place called what, BizTown? Yeah, J.A. BizTown. J.A. BizTown. Tell me about it. What is it? Well, you go to this place and we went to St. Louis. We went there for a day and we got to interview we got our own resume and we interviewed for our job. And so we got a job and we just worked for a day. That's all really? how it works. And that's where you became the anchor. Yes. Did you have fun? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah. Is it a lot like this? Kinda, of, yeah. Kinda. Wow. So so you you've learned about BizTown from the time you were young younger, and then you finally had the opportunity to go. Yes. What an exciting time. Sean, how, how did you know about BizTown? Is it everything you learned coming through up through the grade school system or what? Well, I came to Two Mile in second grade because in kindergarten and first grade, I went to the elementary school here. Okay. And it's a private school, and we didn't we didn't really you know know about these organizations. But when I came in second grade, I'm like, you know, this may be something that you know I kind of want to do more of. You mm -hmm. know, just kind of seemed fun. And as we went through the activities, just kind of seemed to get seemed to get more fun. And then like by the end of fourth grade, I'm like, yes, You're next year's pumped. BizTown. You year. are excited. BizTown, let's go. Mm -hmm. But you had to wait till fifth grade, right? Yeah, had to wait till fifth grade and had to wait till December. <laughs> but you, 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 you did it. Now that's yeah. where you ran for for mayor, correct? Mm -hmm. Did you have to campaign? E, not quite like campaign, but we just had to write a speech, and we had to give the speech in front of both of the uh, fifth grade classes, and then we would vote. You had to vote for two people. And then they'd count them all up and then see who won. I want to recount. <laughs> they but counted three times. <laughs> 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 but what an exciting time. Who came in second? Ooh. I won by one, um, he won by one vote. I want to recount. <laughs> so you were the mayor of BizTown. Did you learn anything? Yeah, it's harder than it looks to supervise a town. It is, it is. Did you learn anything about broadcasting? Is that a career you would want to 
take off with maybe? Yeah. It's, it's exciting stuff. Yeah. yeah. What else did you learn? What, what will stick in your mind the most <clears throat> about this experience? Kind of how with this town um, and it being the mayor, it's kind of a big responsibility how even though this is like a smaller thing getting ready for the future, I kind of realized that, whoa, we're not like in the real world, but even here it's just a big responsibility. And so it kind of stuck with me, like, you have to be responsible, like, financially, especially for this, because that's kind of also what we learned about in fifth grade is, like, how to write checks and how to manage a checking account and things like how that. How to manage money. Yeah. yeah. It's the same when, you, when you're the mayor of, of BizTown, USA. You have to manage. Yeah. And that, uh, that left an impression on you. Huh? Good for you. Well, what, what's the biggest impression made of BizTown with you? Well, it is really harder than it looks, but it's really fun learning everything, and it was, it really taught me how hard, how much, how important it is to cooperate with others, because you can't just hate everybody. You gotta agree with some people. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> Thumbs down. <laughs> Cooperation, that's the name of the game, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It is really big at BizTown. Good. You have to be cooperative at BizTown. That's, that's how we get things done. You know what? I'll tell you, I, I am really excited to meet you two, you three. Thank you so much. Uh, come back to the show anytime. I'd like to hear more about BizTown, you two. Uh, when are you going to run for mayor of Columbia? I don't know. We'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> but of course, you know, there's like an age limit thing. You For, know. Forget the small stuff, Sean. <laughs> Listen, come back and see me anytime, will you? Okay. It's been a pleasure. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome back to the second segment of Making a Difference, April 5th. 2016. What a great day, Susan. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Our, our guest now is Susan Lutton, the Executive Director of Mid-Missouri Legal Aid. Right. Did I say that right? Mid-Missouri Legal Services. Legal they, Services. They call us Legal Aid. Legal Aid. First of all, thank you for a wonderful job you do. Thank there you. There are so many people that, uh, that you guys help. Thank you. Now, now tell, tell us a little bit about... Uh, Tell us about yourself. You're, you're an attorney. Yep, I'm an attorney. And, and an executive director. Right, so I do a lot of grant writing. Oh, isn't that crazy? Well, that's the life of a, of a not-for-profit. That's right, that's right. And uh, uh, now, do, do you still get to practice law and all that stuff, or are you so tied up with directing? Usually I do probably 98% directing, but I do some work as Good. needed, as Good. needed. And lots of elder law issues I mm -hmm. do, because that's my background. Really? Yeah. Now, is Columbia your home or, or? I moved here from Maine nine years ago, but I'm from the Midwest originally. Welcome back home. Yes, it's very welcome. nice. So where was home originally for you? Illinois, actually. Close enough. Well, now, welcome to God's country. This is the <laughs> great, greatest, greatest state in the union right yes. here, Missouri. Of yes. course, you don't have to agree with that. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of partial. So uh, tell us a little bit about Mid-Missouri Legal Services. Uh, you, how many counties do you? We serve represent. 11 counties, okay. and six of them are north of the Missouri River and five are south of the river. So we have an office here in Columbia. It's our main office. And then we have a small satellite office, which is two attorneys and a paralegal down in Jefferson City. Now, when an attorney works for, for you, there is, is it, uh, uh, I mean, are they part of your organization? Do they have a second uh, job, you might say, or you have have them 100 percent of the time? We have them 100 percent of the time, our staff attorneys, and then we have eight full-time and another one who works part-time up at the VA hospital. Okay. She's a part-time person. Um, but then we also have what we call our Judicare attorneys. There are reduced fee attorneys who are private attorneys out in the community who do work for us uh, that we just we can't handle all the cases, so sure. we pay them an hourly rate, a low hourly rate. Who's the beneficiary of that low hourly rate? 
low-income people, yeah. and uh, it, you have to be at 125 percent of the federal poverty level to qualify, which translates into about 32, 34 hours a week of minimum wage pay, but it's not quite as difficult to qualify as it might sound because like the uh, family support division and other state divisions, we're allowed to take off different expenses from the income. For example, if you're paying okay. child support, if you're paying a mortgage, or if you're paying a rent, we can take off certain amounts. So it's better to just call in, call in and, and do the 10 minute uh, telephone interview just mm -hmm. to make sure you do or don't qualify. So you can, you can qualify someone over the phone? That's the way we do it. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Everybody calls okay. in. We have an 800 number, and we have our local wow. numbers. So, I, I just I think it's a service that's needed. The law is is so complicated. Right. It, it is. It, to to the to a lay person, you can get overwhelmed by right. legalities. You right. might say. Mm -hmm. uh, what what brought you to uh, legal services? What uh, what made you decide to uh, become an executive director? Well, I worked as a staff attorney and a litigation director when I was in Maine. And so when I came back uh, to the Midwest, it was an, it just a real obvious fit for me because mm -hmm. I, I was ready for something a little bit different. But I like grant writing, so it's a, a good niche, if you good will. Good for you. And I like doing work for low-income people. I like the nonprofit sector. It's very different different work. Challenging, isn't it? Yeah, you can make a lot more money in the private sector as an attorney, obviously, sure. but um, there's tremendous uh, gratification from doing the work. It's interesting that you would say that because uh, it, to many that is a form of payment. That's, that's, a, that's as mm -hmm. what, valuable as, as a wage is right. the gratification, the job gratification. Right. Good for you. Yeah. What's um, what kind of cases do you handle? Okay, um, it's interesting. We don't do criminal work, okay. and so um, we get a lot of calls for people who need criminal defense, and we have to refer them on to the public defender right. who does that work. We do. We handle civil cases, okay. and civil cases are anything pretty much that aren't criminal, and uh, they range from oh, wow. family law to housing law to consumer law, including bankruptcy and debt collection cases, uh, people who are on unemployment, people who are having trouble getting public benefits, uh, any kind of employment law, uh, discrimination cases, uh, elder law with powers of attorney you, you, and you wills. You said that's what mm -hmm. you, uh, your background right. Right. Was, was elder right. law. Okay. Powers of attorney and wills, helping people who are being discharged from nursing homes against their will, those kinds of things. Just really any uh, area of the law that's not criminal is what we do. Wow, that's broad. It is very broad, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's got to be challenging for you, though. But mm -hmm. on the other hand, a lot of gratification, Yeah. like, like yeah, you said. Um, what have some of the challenges been for your office? Well, always it's... Um, uh, fundraising is is uh, always challenging. Trying to get enough money to hire more attorneys to do the work. Um, other challenges are creating projects where you can serve multiple people at the same time, like clinics within the office. We have those. Friday afternoons are crazy in our office because we have uncontested divorce clinic. People who are uh, getting a divorce and both sides are happy about it and we help them do their paperwork and we help them prepare their script and go to court wow. and uh, we run a through uh, three of those through every Friday afternoon just very fast cases uh, to get people through in a, a cost-efficient way sure yeah sure. Um, you, you you're able to sustain your operation through grants right Mm -hmm. uh, strictly grants, or do you, do you do any fundraising? Anything we like do very that? little fundraising, and um, it's because uh, our services are so unique. I'm not sure that a lot of people really understand what we do, um, and we do have federal grants, state grants, local uh, grants that we apply for. Heart of Missouri United Way funds us, and Callaway County United okay. Way funds us. So we have a lot of different grant source resources that we sure. tap into. We're also fortunate enough um, to be the beneficiary of certain lawsuits, nationwide lawsuits like the Big Bank of America lawsuit that settled recently. Sure. We're getting money to fund an attorney position for that to Good. do foreclosure preven or to, uh, uh, foreclosure prevention work, helping people who are whose homes are getting ready to be taken away from them, and we're helping them get their homes uh, refinanced mm -hmm. or. Uh, 
help them figure out a way to keep their houses. Susan, if, if somebody, I mean, how, how do people reach out to you? How can they find out a phone number? Is it uh, right anywhere? I mean, right. I mean, what you can do is go to the website. I mean, if you've got any way to get to the okay. Internet uh, at the public library, just look under midmissourilegalservices.org. Okay. It's mmls.org, and we've got a website. There's a bank of information under the legal information tab on our website about most of the areas that we practice. Okay. Um, and particularly there's a big section for domestic violence victims, for Good. people who are Good. having those kinds of issues. But all of our numbers are listed there. You show people how to do ex partes, I mean, does right. that right. help, help them through the ex parte process? Right. And to explain the rest of the process, why you have to go back to court and get the full order yeah. of protection. Yeah. Wow. So a lot of information. It is. Mm -hmm. uh, do, you, do you see your organization growing? We do. Uh, just like the foreclosure prevention project that we're just starting, there's another one that goes hand in hand with that where we're helping low-income people start small businesses. And we're doing oh, it in cooperation with Central Missouri Community Action Program. They're actually doing the planning work, helping the people plan their businesses, and we're simply doing the legal work okay. uh, to do the uh, Help transactional. Help set up the LLCs or whatever, right. whatever way right. they, they right. decide to go. The transactional work, yeah. Sure, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, what, what about, um, um, you know, I don't know where, where to go with, with a question. It's, it's, the sky's the limit with you guys. Right, yeah, we do cover a lot of areas. Um, one of the other things we did, we've, the Boone County Bar Association mm -hmm. has a golf tournament every year, and okay. they've, they've been funding for us our, uh, our veterans clinic up at the VA hospital. That's a good question. Yeah. Uh, you, what type of clinics or, or programs do you put on for the community? Uh, anything that, that help educate people about different uh, civil um, actions or, or, or civil components of, of the law? Right, and we actually do quite a few um, Medicaid, MoHealth Net uh, okay. presentations in the community for people who are having issues with that. A lot of housing. Um, outreach that we do Good. because, uh, for example, people in mobile home parks that are being closed, we do a lot of work directly there at the parks where we have trainings for them. So you're a huge champion. You're, mm -hmm. you're an advocate. For low-income people. Yeah. Yes. And that's, yeah. wow, that's, yeah. that's good. You Great stay work. busy. We do, and we do. Now what about for uh, other not-for-profits? If they would have questions about uh, about aspects of civil law. Can can they contact you? Or? Yes, and we actually have our staff attorneys go to their to their staff and do group trainings quite a bit. Uh, at, at no charge? At no charge. CMCA, Central okay. Missouri Community Action, Love Inc. We've done quite a few of them. Good for you. Uh, in our 11 county area, yeah. That's huge. Yeah, it That's is. That's huge. Um, you got anything neat coming up here anytime soon? No outreach projects um, uh, that I can think of right off the top of my head, but we are trying to find uh, people who are interested in starting small businesses, and we're looking particularly at people who do things like yard cleanup, yard work, mm -hmm. snow removal, uh, babysitting services, but people who want to make sure that they're protecting their home or themselves from uh, being sued if anything should happen in the sure. in, while sure. they're conducting their business. But um, that's you. that's the big area that we're focusing on right now. Okay. That and foreclosure prevention. We're trying to find people before they get to the foreclosure mm -hmm. process. People who are having trouble paying their mortgage, um, helping them figure out whether they need to refi at a, for a longer period of time, mm -hmm. a different interest rate, or whether we can get HAMP help from the yeah. government uh, for those folks. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, come back any time. Well, I, yeah. I, I'd, like, I'd like to hear more. Okay. And next time I'll have some, some really hard questions for you. <laughs> okay? All right, listen, sounds good. Thank you so much for thank taking you. the time and visiting thank you. with us. And, and again, in, go to your website, which is www. Dot MMLS. MMLS. Dot org. It's dot just midmissourilegalservices.org. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, everything you need to know about MMLS is right everything there. Everything is there. Come back and see us anytime. We will. We will. Thank you, Thank Susan. you.